Well, thanks for everybody showing up. Um, my name is Dale Mishwanta Skeeter from Hockey Dustin. And I've been trapping for about eight years now. Um, I went to school for it um, on the American side, um, in Racket Point, for about four years. I did a apprenticeship program um, that was the end result of uh, um, Settlement through alcohol from uh, years of food in the river. Um, so the end result, they gave uh, the tribe funding, and community members came up with a program to um, kind of bring back a little knowledge that we lost through not being able to use the river, plants and medicine, um, farming horticulture, uh, even uh, everybody uh, being contaminated with PCBs throughout the years. So I applied, I got in, I, I got into hunting and uh, trapping program. And for the first, it was a pilot program. Uh, it turned out pretty good from, uh, from everything I learned about it. Uh, so. It was four programs, hunting, trapping, water and river use, horticulture, farming, and plants and medicine. And there would be two teachers for each group and four students in each group that focused on uh, whatever group you, uh, you applied for. So throughout the years, throughout those four years, um, we had a Mohawk teacher to help us um, revitalize our language. And um, that was a big help for me. So I uh, picked up language so much that I got a job at Salmon River uh, teaching Mohawk in uh, middle school right up to ninth grade um, high school. Um, that was fun. So, I'll show you a few things. So, this is a handy tool. If you plan on doing a lot of trapping, squeezing the trap with your hands, it on you. So, whenever I found these, these were a big help. This is a 330. I used to trap uh, this weaver. So if you forget this, you're gonna have to do it on your own. It's a, it's a lot of work whenever you're setting a lot of traps. So, I always keep an eye on these safety hooks right here. This, this will uh, hold the uh, trap in place once you set it. In case, for whatever reason, these uh, fall off. These will still uh, save yourself from uh, being snapped in the hand. So whenever we're looking for beavers, uh, hunting or uh, trapping beavers under the water, uh, under the ice is uh, fairly easy. So you can. Uh, Say this table is his hut, and he has a hole here. Uh, the ice is real weak from the swimming out with the bubbles. So it's a good indication of where you can set your trap. So, so it sticks. I should have kept that safety hook on. Yeah. So 
this will be what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you could set in the trap, but usually on that high wire, put it through here, secure it, and you adjust this depending on the depth of uh, the water where the beavers, beavers are. So if I see a trail through here, um, I'll check the depth, place the trap right here. Another trap or another stick. And I'll put that right in the middle here. And I'll have one more trap, or not one more, one more stick to hold right across the hole, the, the ice, and just leave it like that. But you can't forget to take off these safety hooks. <laughs> we uh, me and my buddies have done that a few times. We leave the hooks on, come back next day. And I was a desert, scared the beaver away, we won't trap them. And we'd always make fun of each other. You're just educating the beaver. <laughs> it's gonna, you're just gonna make it harder on yourself. So. This is the best tool you can have. Is, um, you always want your blades to be sharp so you don't struggle. You can cut yourself. So when we start um, skinning the beaver, we usually start from the vent hole, go around the vent hole, straight up the middle, up to his jaw. And we'll cut off uh, his feet, his tail, and slowly uh, work the fur, um, pulling it and stretching it. So I'll get the skin in him. I just want to get under his fur. You know, you want to try not to. Uh, Cut open the gut, keep uh, the blood off the, the hide. It's very hard to uh, get off once it dries. Tail? Do you do anything with the tail? Well, yeah, you can. You can make balls out of it. But you can fry it up like a steak, and the meat inside tastes like bacon. I don't usually trap. Uh, I wait for the cold. Cold water, cold weather, and uh, whenever, whenever um, we trap them in the cold weather, like underneath the ice, that's the only time we really um, eat them because of the contaminants in the water. It's unfortunate. But a community member had a beaver call along the edge of her property in the river, and uh, him and a few other beavers kept eating her cedar trees. She, she replanted twice. <laughs> and, uh, the best time to trap beavers is uh, February, January. It gets real cold. Their um, the furs are real prime. They'll pull them out of the water, they'll roll them in the snow. What are beaver pelts uh, typically used for? Um, gloves, hats, jackets, um, boots. Um, I have a beaver hat actually, but they're very nice. <laughs> and where do you sell the majority of your, uh, your 
belts. Um, there's a few guys um, that will collect them uh, at the end of the season. Okay. They will buy them and they will send them out. They usually hit to um, half of or the middle of his back and we'll flip them over. Is there anything different about preparing a beaver pelt compared to one of those other animals? Yes. Um, coyotes, foxes, a lot of predators. Uh, otters, you won't die in a boat like this. Okay. Uh, you'd start from the top and you usually hang the animal by the feet and just work your way down. And this might be a funny question, but what do what do beavers feed on primarily? Mm, trees. Uh, I found uh, trapped in the marsh in Quebec. They always have uh, fruits and uh, a lot more vegetation to eat. study mainly like the trapping and hunting? Yeah, it's a fun program. I learned my trapping from uh, my buddy Vaughn Adams, who's a uh, teacher. Uh, he taught a few others, like me, Angelo Johnson, uh, Abu Zor. He learned so much with uh, other programs, uh, farming, uh, plants, uh, medicine, fishing. <laughs> Things like every two or three months, um, we do demonstrations just like this for our uh, community members. Um, and we, we get to see what the other uh, programs we're uh, working on. Uh, we're making medicine, 